Got this in your notes. Now, the other way to synthesize this, you could also do an E2 here, because this is secondary. But for E2, we're going to need a better leaving group. How can we turn this into a bromine? How do we turn alcohols into bromines? There's a special, special reagent for that. SOCl2 or best place with a bromine, so I'm not sure. Oh, PBR. Yeah. yeah. Now we could chlorinate too, but chlorine is not quite as good a leaving group, so it's probably better to brominate. So you're right, if we were going to chlorinate, we would use SOCl2. But since we're brominating, we use PBR3. This is a way to turn primary or secondary alcohols into halo alkanes. So this is just a reaction we have memorized. We haven't really gone through the mechanism. And then what would be a good reagent to add to ensure that we just get E2? Uh, like T-butyl oxide. Yeah. Tert-butyl oxide or LDA. We know that if you again go back to the table on page 3 of the SN2 handout, tert-butyl oxide pretty much always gives you just E2. Aren't you missing the three there? Yeah. CH3. I always make that mistake. Yeah, because there's two threes in a row. Or I leave out this carbon. Yeah, I always leave out so. Good, so that's a good catch. So yeah, this is tert-butyl oxide. So this is some important stuff to finish up with for synthesis. If you want to do uh, E1 for sure, a good way to do E1 for sure is a secondary or tertiary alcohol plus sulfuric acid plus heat. And that's basically on page three of the SN2 handout, although I didn't mention that you have to start with an alcohol. But you need someone to protonate. Wouldn't make sense to do this on a bromine because you can't protonate the bromine. And if you want to do an E2, well, you can use tert-butyl oxide. However, for E2, first you have to get a better leaving group. So for E2, first you would turn the alcohol into a halogen. In the answer key, they did this by E1, but I think you would get full credit by doing it by E2 as well. These would both be good. However, the only reason it could go either way here is that this was secondary. If this had been primary, we would have to use the E2 path. Or if this had been tertiary, we would have to use the E1 path. It's only the secondary that can go either way. All right, I've got to get ready for my uh, types of equipment now. Okay. I thought we went over some good problems today. Remember that before you go on to do problems, you want to just re-look re at the problem we just went through and make sure that you're comfortable with those, especially to predict the products. The most important things to be comfortable with are predict the products. So secondary or tertiary? Well, let's stop and think about that. No, secondary only, tertiary. Uh, remember, tertiaries can't do, well, no, actually, no, you, I was wrong and you were right. Because uh, a tertiary can do an E2. So I should have said. I mean, it can't do SN2. Do that's right, but we weren't talking about SN2. Okay. Yeah, it can't do SN2, it can't do E2. So I should have said, if you have primary, secondary. Oh, but the problem is, um, PBR3 doesn't work on tertiary alcohols. So, if it, the only way you could do this one, second primary would only give you E2, secondary would give you either one, and tertiary would give you only E1. Well, it, actually, I, I shouldn't have put it that way. Maybe <coughs> it's a little more complicated than that. You can do an E2 on primary, secondary, or tertiary. So, if you have a secondary or tertiary alcohol. plus sulfuric acid plus heat, that gives us E1. And I guess if you have a primary, secondary, or tertiary halo alkane plus tert-butyl oxide, that would give us E2. The key thing, though, this doesn't work on tertiaries. So secondary or tertiary could go either way, but primary is only E2. Yeah, you can't do an E1 on a primary. That's true. Because you couldn't form a carbocation. Remember, we can't form primary carbocations. Okay. You see what I wrote here? Yeah. If you start with a primary, secondary, or tertiary alkane, you can do an E2 with a strong bulky base. But H2SO4 plus E only works on secondaries and tertiaries because you can't form a primary carbocation. 
These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.